and here we got the final output of our application that is the header tag, header tag is list box items move to another list box if I select green when I click single arrow right click see here we got the green color if I click orange and blue selected items here we got there if I select all the items from left to right here we got all again I am selecting all the items from right to left here we got again now I am selecting red color and blue color from right to left see here we got right there let's write the code in javascript how to pass the list box selected items from one list box to another list box using a pure javascript and css tags so let's start the tutorial just for the time saving i have created one new html file let's add the doc type after that i am closing the html element then i am adding the header section below the header section i am adding the body tag now inside this body tag i am adding one center element inside the center element i am adding one h1 tag list box items move to uh, move to another list box to another list box after that i am adding one horizontal line now here i am defining one do container which uh, giving the class name is called container in this container i am adding the list box which is a select element select and uh, select now here i require the id of the list first list box is a list to list box one and class is equals to list box then we need to add the multiple because we need to select the multiple items after that i'm adding some options here let's add the option first option is the red here we require the value values uh, value is equals to red let's copy this one three four and five let's change this labels to blue blue black black green this one also green value also is green and this one I'm adding orange and this one orange now after that I require the button controls so I'm adding the do container in this do I'm adding the class called buttons buttons now let's create the button controls button the first button is um, arrow mark which sends to the right list uh, list box so below we'll create another list box list box here select id is equal to just like how we created here the same thing we'll create just copy this one instead of adding the same thing i'm pasting here but i'm changing to list box 2 i don't require this list box because we'll pause the items will transfer from list box 1 to list box 2 and again list box 2 to list box uh, 1 now let's get the buttons now the single arrow it will send the selected single items and this is the left arrow this is the all the items i want to pass double arrow double left arrow that's it in the button control that's it we have done the designing part now we require the some styles in the header section style let's add the style here first we require this container copy this one and dot container dot is a class name it represents a class name display flex align items center and justify content is also center for this container next we require the list box of the select elements i'm selecting the class 
ID. So I'm adding the class ID list box. List box. Width is 250 pixels and the height according to your requirement you can adjust the height and width here i am adding roughly here text align center text align center now we require the buttons let's take this buttons class i'm adding some size to the buttons buttons display flex display flex flex direction is a column align items is a center and margin 0 20 pixels 20 pixels after that and uh, now we require the some um, styles of the button controls so class buttons so here the dot buttons button element button element margin margin bottom here i'm adding 10 pixels background color is black and the text color i'm adding it's a color text color i'm adding white border radius is 50 pixels font size is larger let's add the larger font weight is bold that's it I'm not adding much styles here because we require the JavaScript functionality. So let's add the script here. Script. Script. First define one function. Move selected options. Move selected options. First one is a source and destination. Here the source is a list box one and destination is a destination is the list box two list box two you can change the variable names also if you want variable selected and defining one variable here selector options is equals to array dot from from array from source dot selector options source dot selector options now here give some gap here to add the for loop for variable i is equals to zero i require the length of the selected options length property i plus plus then then we are transferring the selected option to the destination which is a list box too so destination destination dot append chain append chain c is capital here selected options i that's it now instead of writing the same thing what we'll do is to move all the select uh, all the items so i'm defining one more option called move all options move all of source and destination Desti uh, destination destination and uh, just copy this thing copy this thing and paste here paste here uh, here i'm changing this variable because here i have different already know so just uh, just for change and changing to options selected dot options here we have added the selected options so here i'm changing to options and then list box and here is the options options and here also I'm adding the options whenever we have we have to change options that's it now this function name we need to add to this button controls on click event on click event here if you check the source and destinations here the source and destinations are the list box one ids we require the ids of the uh, ids of the select option element so this copy this one and uh, paste here this box one one comma list box two two that's it that's it
Now again, I'm copying this one. Now notice here, this is very important here. Here I'm changing the source and destinations from list box two to list box one. Again, we require the move all options. Copy this one. For this double arrows, I'm adding. For the double arrows, I'm adding on click event is equals to on click event is equals to list box one list box one dot uh, comma dot list box two. This one on click is equals to move all options list box list box two comma list box one that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's save this file we'll check the final output of our application save to check the final output of our application we need to open our file explorer let's open that one the folder i have created in the e drive and the folder name is a javascript interview and this is the file name list box wants to list box one to list box two let's check that one see here the file name is a list box one to list box two and let's open that one and here we got the final output of our application what is the header tag? header tag is list box items move to another list box if i select green when i click single arrow right click see here we got the green color if i click orange and blue select items here we got here yeah. if i select all the items from left to right here we got all again i'm selecting all the items from right to left here we got again now i'm selecting red color and blue color from right to left see here we got that right that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to move item from list box one to list box two using a pure javascript and css styles thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial